Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Ian. And in this video, we're going to be teaching you how to do double turns using the New York Prep. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, to start, we're going to do right to right handhold. So, leader's right to lady's right. So, what we're teaching is the New York Prep, okay? So, on the one, let's just do a basic, actually. It was all one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, now on the one, there's kind of two schools of thought. You can move with this on the one, two, three, or you can stay in place, guys, okay? So for the ladies, what you want to do with the hand is you're going down to the left, your left, bring it back up, and she's kind of now pivoting, and by three, you're in a 90 degree angle. So similar to what we taught in the right hand turn where you do that little prep, two, three, this is a more advanced version. You're going one, two, three. So now it's 90 degree angle. Now, if you're way far away from her, this turn is not going to happen. So you need to be close to her. Okay, so the lady winds up, and uh, if you want to tell them the footwork for the right. ladies. Right, ladies, all your weight is going to be on your right foot. So when you're going to step back, one, two, you're going to shift back on three on your right foot, and as you do that, that's when you twist and you wind yourself up, making sure to keep your wrist right in front of you, and as he said before, your, your arm at a 90 degree angle. Usually you'd want to pop your left arm out to the side for styling and balance when you bring it in. So she's kind of, you're kind of coiling her up like a spring, and in a second you're going to unleash it, so she's going to spin around. Okay, so let's try that again. Right from the beginning, you step forward. You can either step, guys, or stay in place, but I prefer to step a little bit. One, two, three. Okay, now on the five. Guys, you can move, but don't focus solely on doing the steps, five, six, seven, because what you want to be is you want to be the stable point that the lady kind of holds on to. So your main goal is to just bring your arm around her head and really crank it. I mean, don't hurt her, but crank it around so she has a stable point to um, hold on to. So again, you just want to plant yourself and doing a right-hand turn, but you're doing two of them, five, six, seven. In that respect, ladies, Again, to reiterate, it is really important to give them something to crank. Right. <laughs> if they're trying to crank and your arm is not where it needs to be, it's never going to happen. And it has to have tension, too, a little bit of tension. Not like trying to make a muscle, but that rubber band effect that we've talked about before, you need that. If you have spaghetti arms, this move is impossible to do. It's just, it doesn't work, okay? So again, we're here. So let's try it from the beginning. We go prep, two, three. So she's up, and you're just kind of making a little wall or a, a stone, so to speak, <laughs> and you crank it around. Remember to draw a halo. It's not enough to just go like this, and it's not enough to just put your hand and do this thing, okay? You don't want to just move the wrist. You need to move the whole arm and crank it around. So, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Now, as you get more advanced, you can do more and more of these, but this is where you need to start, okay? So, let's try this again. The one step forward, pump, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And if she does happen to move a little bit, drift, because this is technically a spot turn, but you might drift a little bit depending on the floor type or whatever. So you just gotta kind of follow her. Even when I was dancing just now, I kind of angled towards the direction she was going. But one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Otherwise, you stay right on top of her and it's perfect. So. Okay, for a few tips. Let's start with the ladies. We're gonna go right into it. So we're going one, two, winding on three. Now make sure that you really crank yourself around there. You don't wanna just kind of, you know, kind of half-ass it where you're, <laughs> you, you know, you're all right, I'm leaning, and I'm, but I'm looking forward to him. This is kind of your own prep. You're spinning yourself. So you really wanna make sure that you're winding yourself enough to be able to pull. And another thing, uh, uh, on the winding aspect is your left hand is not just there for styling. You want to whip it out to the side so that you can whip it in. So this is kind of what gives you the momentum, the pull, to pull you around. Keeping your arm right in front of you for balance, either up, up here or down here, either or, as long as it's out of the way and here for balance and stability. It's like an ice skater. When they take right. their leg in, they spin around. It's the same thing, but just with your arm. Okay. So another thing for the guys, the handhold that I would recommend is using uh, your two middle fingers, which is really your middle finger and your ring finger. Okay. So the lady's kind of making a little cup around that. 
So what you're doing is, um, as you're turning her around, it, her hand is rotating around those fingers. It's really beneficial because you don't have to change handholds while you're turning her. If you were like this, you know, you have to rotate it and then rotate it, and that's why people get into the habit of doing this weird wrist action. You want this little finger, or uh, these two fingers in that cup, so you go prep two, three. Notice how it is, I, I kind of stick my uh, pinky and index finger, you don't have to do that, but I do that. And so then turn her, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now another thing that's imperative, try to get your arm, or your forearm, and pretty much uh, your bicep parallel to the floor, okay? If you end up going like this, you'll be able to hit her in the head, or just not complete the turn. You wanna get it up. Now you'll feel this in your shoulder as you're doing this. So you go one, two, three, you want it up. Real high up, then five, six, seven, eight. And crank it, remember, it's, this is the motion, cranking. It's not this, and it's not anything else that you could possibly imagine. It's cranking around. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's practice this a couple times. We'll practice it on this side, and then we'll just switch so you can see the other side. So we'll do it uh, two times on this side, two times on the other side. So here we go, right into it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Prep, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we'll try it on this side. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Prep, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, five, six, seven, go. Prep, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure that you practice before you move on and we'll see you on the floor. floor.